Judy from South Fayette Township Library. Today, I have another fun STEAM activity for you. STEAM standing for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And our activity will be with science and art today. This activity will seem kind of magical to you, but it's not, it's science. Your activity today will, can you create a paper flower that when folded up and placed in water will blossom and open up? Also, your flower might contain a secret message in it. That would be really fun. So let's get started and I'll show you how it works. First, you want to cover your table to protect it. Now, you also want to have some water for our experiment. Get some paper. This may be some regular paper, some tissue paper, cardstock. That's part of the fun of the experiment if you have different papers. Some scissors. And some colored pencils. You can also use crayons. You want to draw a flower on a paper, or you can trace one too. Carefully color and cut it out. Here's what mine looks like. At this point, you can add a secret message on the inside of the flower, maybe a sticker. Then the part you wanna do is fold it. You wanna fold the petals in towards the middle, one at a time. Here's the fun science part. The, at this point is when you drop it into the water and see what happens. I wonder what will happen. Let's try. Place your flowers with the, with the folds up if gently in the water and let's see what happens. Here's what they look like all the way open. What's the science behind these magical blooming blossoms? Well, our blossoms were made of paper. Paper ha have fibers in them. Did you know paper comes from trees too? But something else you can investigate. Now when we place the paper in the water, the fibers absorbed or soaked up the water. When they were soaking up the water, the paper expanded, the fibers expanded, your flowers opened up and revealed your surprise. Such a good experiment. Did you know real flowers also need to absorb water? That helps them to live and to grow. If you'd like to do any other experiments with absorptions, you could go around your house and maybe get a sponge or a cotton ball, different things and experiment to see what else soaks up water. Well, go have fun and we'll see you next time for some more Safayette steam fun. Bye-bye.